Welcome back. We are ready to start the decrease portion of this sleeve. If you think about your body, how far it is around your upper arm and how far it is around your wrist, there's probably a difference there. Your wrist is generally smaller than how you are up around your shoulder. So with our sweater, we have to decrease along the way so that our sleeve gets smaller as we move down toward the cuff. So we have finished our portion here that is even. Um, I worked two inches. You may have worked more inches. And we are ready to do a decrease round. So in the decrease round, we will knit one SSK. Let's go down to our glossary. Means slips one stitch knitwise, slip one more stitch knitwise, knit the two slip stitches together through back loops. Sounds like a lot. It isn't once you've seen it done, so I will show you that in just a moment. So back here, we knit one SSK, work in pattern to three stitches before beginning of round, knit two together, knit one, and we've decreased two stitches. So then we will work six rounds even, and or five, four, three, if you have some different sizes here. And then we will work these rounds, which is a decrease round, followed by a number of rounds even, a total of this many times. And then helpfully it has what, how many stitches should be on our needles after that point. So this means, so for my size, the smallest size here, I will do three decrease rounds. You may have fewer, you may have more. Um, and then after we have all the decreases done, we will work even until the sleeve measures this long from underarm. <laughs> and then at that point, I would recommend you try it on. It should be very easy at this point to try on your sweater. and see if that is how long you want it. If you need to do it a little bit longer, that's totally fine. You just want it to be one inch for the baby sizes, one and a half for the bigger kids, or two inches if you're doing an adult size shorter than you will plan for the overall sleeve length. If you're knitting the 3XL through 6XL after you get it to the to the length listed up here, you will do a knit eight, knit two together all the way around so that you end up with 54 stitches on those sizes. We will then change to our smaller needles and do a knit one purl one ribbing for an inch or two inches or half an inch as appropriate, and then bind off all stitches loosely. We did this whole section is the same as for the ribbing and bind off on the bottom of the sweater. If I'm not going to do a separate video for that. If you need a refresher on that, you can go back to that lesson and and look at that. The only difference here is you'll be doing it with the longer, smaller diameter needles. For me, that was a size six, um, but the smaller needles, because you will need to do that in magic loop. Then the next time you see me will be for all the finishing. All right, we've knit our little section of even rounds here. And for me, that was two inches. For you, that might be a little bit longer or shorter, depending on the size. I put a stitch marker here. This is my very first round. I did six and then put another stitch marker and then did six more. If yours is not a nice even round or a number of nice even number that's that's fine you know don't worry about that like if i had six and six you may have six and five you may have a different number that's that's fine we just want it to be nice and easy smallish number to count i'm going to get 
a f some other colored stitch markers because we are going to mark our decrease rounds with a different color so that it's nice and easy to recognize when you're knitting the second sleeve what the heck you were doing on your first one. So I don't know about you, but I want matching sleeves. So I'm ready for a decrease round. Get my stitches all pushed to the end of my needle. And our direction said knit one, then slip, slip, knit. So I'm going to go into the stitch as if I'm going to knit it, but I'm not going to knit it. I'm just going to move it over to the right hand needle. We're going to do that twice. So we have two. Then I'm going to take my left needle, put it through the bottom here from left to right underneath both of those stitches and knit them together. I would pull that off the needle, but I'm going to show you again how to do it. So I'm going to do it, do it again. So this is, I've just knit one stitch at the beginning of my round. I'm going to go in as if to knit and just slip it right over. Go in as if I was going to knit it, slip it right over. Taking my left needle, putting it in from left to right into both of those stitches and knitting them together. That's SSK or slip, slip, knit. It's common in a lot of different patterns, doing a lot of different things. So then I'm going to go around my row. You may have a knit round coming up for your garter panel. You may have a purl round. It depends on um, where you were in the sequence. when you got to the length that you needed. All right, so I'm gonna pull my, pull it through here. This is where I'm going to put my contrasting color marker so that I know, hey, I decreased on this round. There's nothing magic about red and yellow. I just want them to be obviously different colors from each other. Gonna continue around. Ah. I ended up with a pearl row here. You can see here where I messed up, actually. I ended up knitting three rows instead of knit a row, pearl row, knit a row. I could go back, pull it out, and redo it. But I'm not going to. I'm going to call it a design element and move on. <laughs> Some traditions in knitting actually make a mistake on purpose because they they have a, a faith tradition or a belief that if it's perfect that like demons can get in it. It's kind of kind of an interesting interesting thing. Okay, so I knitted till I had three left. I'm gonna to knit two together and then just knit the last one. So that, my friends, is a decrease row. So I'm going to continue on here. I'm going to knit, let me remind myself, six rounds even. You'll need to check the pattern to make sure that's what you have is six rounds even. With the adult sizes, some of them are five, four, even three rounds even. So, um, so I'm going to do six rounds even, then I'm going to do another decrease round. I'm going to put a yellow marker on it and do that one more time. So I end up having three decrease rounds. After my decrease rounds, I'm going to work even, and that just means no decreases, uh, until my sleeve measures five and a half inches. Once I go back to knitting even after I've finished my decrease rows, I am going to go back to the 
the red markers so that when I'm knitting my other sleeve, my brain knows, okay, we're going back to knitting even, no more decreased rows. And then when I switch to the ribbing, again, I'm going to get a third color, uh, maybe blue, mark where I have started my ribbing so that my second sleeve is pretty, pretty mindless. I'm not counting, well, I mean, I guess I'm counting to six or seven, <laughs> but I'm not uh, counting the same, the same rows over and over and over again. And I know when I am starting something different. I'm gonna show you real fast here how to measure this, because if you measure it from the wrong spot, you will end up with a sleeve that's either too long or too short. It is from the underarm and not the top. And the reason that's important or why it matters is when you're looking at garter stitch, and this will be more obvious when my, when my piece is done, my top is gonna be just a tiny bit shorter than the bottom here, and that's because stockinette stitch is just a little bit taller than garter stitch when when you have your final piece and so you definitely want to make sure you're measuring from the bottom where that armpit is and see I, I wasn't even quite to two inches before but remember sweaters are squishy if I make my decrease row a little bit too early or a little bit too late, it's not going to be a big deal. But I do want my overall sleeve length to be correct. So that's why I'm measuring from the bottom. Even if I wasn't doing the garter panel, because some of you won't be doing the garter panel, you still want to measure it from down here. It's just a good practice to have. After I finish my my decrease rounds and I've knitted it to five and a half inches or, or longer if you're doing a bigger size, then I will switch to my smaller needles continuing in uh, the Knit One Pro One ribbing for the, the same amount you did down here and then bind off in the same way you did down here. And then come back and we will do the other sleeve. The other sleeve is the same exact way. So if you need step-by-step -step on the sleeves, you can just go back a couple of lessons and it's exactly the same process for the other sleeve. And then finally, I'm gonna show you how to weave in the ends, especially under the arms. It can be a little bit different than other times that we've woven in ends before.